Oh. Alrighty, fans of Farm Life, this is take two. Uh, I went through a whole thing and uh, and uh, not recording anything. So, let's go ahead and take two. Uh, I recently bought this fuse box right here and uh, I want to put in some 12 volt lights. So, uh, technically, I could just tie in right here. Uh, which I'm going to do to test it anyway. Uh, but uh, I might have some other things. I bought some, uh, I also bought some little um, USB, like cigarette lighter things, plug in too. So I might put a couple of those up. Anyway, I got some wire run. It's right here. And it kind of goes up along the top, follows the other wire. And it kind of goes over here. I don't want to blind you. We're going to come down. I'm going to put a light in right there. And. I'm going to put a light in right there. And then I'll kind of open up this area. You see, I got the light on, but it's really dark over in this area. Then I got two more lights. Put them right here. And I was going to put them on this side over here and shine some light this way. But I thought, hey, I'm going to put them on right on the beam right here. And uh, that way we got light shining down. So I'm going to put two of them on here. Probably put them equally spaced on this beam. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and uh, kind of take you along for the ride. Alrighty, fans of Farmline. So these lights I bought uh, off Amazon, they're Amper 12 volt interior LED light bar. And uh, they came with these mounting, a uh, couple of mounting clips. And uh, I'm not using these, but they're little magnets. And it uh, looks like, and I got a little threaded hole on the back side. So it looks like they go, uh, they get threaded on, kind of sit like this. And then they get threaded on in the end right there with that screw. And then these are magnetic, so you put this on the bar, like so. Clamp it on there. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, like so, and then you have that magnet on there, and then it sticks to metal. I don't, you know, the magnet's not in there, but it sticks to metal. So, uh, but I'm not using that. It also, get that off there now. It came with also these uh, double stick pieces of tape right here. I'm also going to put a couple screws in. Uh, I got some screws. I'm just going to put them in the hole right here just to make sure they stay on. So I'm going to get set up. It's dark back there. Hope you can see. Then I'll get set up. Maybe you can uh, see a few things on how I'm getting these mounted. And also, I got these clips. So these clips here, pretty cool little things. You uh, basically stick your, uh, you got your positive and negative wire on there. And then this end here, it opens up. Here, let me set this camera down. It opens up like so. Let's see if I can get this thing open now. You don't trust me, it opens. Here we go. It opens up like so. And then your wires just, if you can see that or not, the wires just sit in that little tray, just like so. And uh, you don't have to cut anything. You just kind of tap right into the line. And so that's what I'm gonna do there. I'm just gonna tap right into the wire. Uh, anyway. Uh, whoa. Anyway, uh, we need to get set up and we'll come right back. Alrighty, fans, farm life. I'm gonna set this up. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just 
just uh, you know trying to space it out a little bit. So it's, I mean it's a little symmetrical. centered here. And I've got the uh, push button on this side. It's easier to get to. I got some other stuff stacked over here. And then that'll go up there and hook into that. And then what I do screw these in. Just drill a little hole to get it started and then this switch is really switch there. It's kind of in the way to straight hole but you got to make sure you got the screw in enough that the switch will come out These screws did not come with these lights. I just found some in an old jump door. Okay, so we got everything screwed in. So now we'll start hooking up these, hooking up the light, and uh, we'll come right back. I gotta get this set up. Alrighty, fans, farm life. So, the wires are, you know, stuck together. So we need to pull those apart a little bit. And uh, so we can get them in that connector. I think that's there. So I think we need to just kind of go right here, right between the red and the black. Just kind of. Should be enough. Just get a little. Now the red, I've already figured this out. The red goes on top and the black goes on the bottom. So open this back up. Flashlight. Let's see. Oh, I'll my phone. Here we go. Make sure we're in there. Okay, that looks looked about right. And then 
Let's see, here we go. Basically, they say grab a pair of pliers and tighten that up. But I can see it's not particularly on there. Okay, let's put it here. That looks red on top. Like on the bottom, looks like it's in there. Okay, and that's pretty much how you do that. And I'll get some more uh, stuff to, you know, tie these up, make it look good. So we're gonna go down to the next one and work our way around. Alrighty, Fans Farm Life. Uh, this is just a test. So I turned the, uh, I turned the, the uh, basically the 110 light out and just turned on the, uh, 12 volt lights uh, and all the wires have to be you know fastened up there but it is actually rare pretty bright in here uh, so I was kind of happy I could buy a couple more and I could probably put one more right there and I could put maybe stretch those out a little bit and put one more in there but uh, yeah this, this does quite a bit of light if I could Get a switch plugged in here, that would be better, because then I could just come in, turn the switch on, and then the lights would go on. Um, or I could just come over here to the uh, charge controller, and I could just turn it off. So, and then it's really... Alrighty, fans of farm life. Um, so... Uh, I got the wires cut. You can see that, and I left. I just left them connected, you know, until I got down here where I had to, you know, obviously take them apart. Uh, kind of got them sized a little bit. Got my uh, got my connectors on here, and uh, I left one on, one undone. I'm just using a uh, just using this set right here. This uh, terminal set and seems to be working. Just use the yellow and just this on and get my pliers, which are not very good. And for the yellow. Stick it right where the yellow dot is, 12 to 10 gauge wire. And uh, so, metal end here, squeeze it as tight as you can. And uh, there we go. And we'll take it in down here. that hooked in there and I've got this ready to go here so I got this ready to go I've got uh, we'll get a couple of fuses and I'm gonna hook these lights back up and I'll give it a little test so we'll be right back alrighty fans farm life let's get this thing hooked in up here So, positive comes over here. I don't have this turned on yet. I don't have the load on. I got it on manual, so it's basically turn it on off yourself. That's hooked in. Those are hooked in. Uh, we're going to use this is a 5 amp fuse. Like I said, this is 0.94 amps. 
I think this just fits in here somehow. I don't know if there's a, a right or wrong to get it in there. That looks like it's in. Yeah. Just gonna push it in. So then we're gonna take our lights here and uh, run it down over here. So our positive is going to go over here. Now I've never, I've never even simulated hooking this thing up, so I don't even know. So our positive goes in down here. I'm guessing something like this. Like I said, I never even tried to hook it up. Seems like it would go a little farther in, but... And then uh, we'll just use this negative right here. Looks like there's a lock washer and a little washer. I'm just putting it behind the washer. Okay, so that's hooked in. We got the five amp fuse. So we're gonna turn, this will be the test. We're gonna push this button right here and we'll see if the lights come on. And there we go, lights came on. Uh, we'll just keep an eye on it real quick. So no, I don't, that's no way that fuse is gonna blow anyway because it's a five amp fuse. It's the smallest. This little thing came with a plethora of fuses, 5, 10, 15, 20 amp. So that seems to be working. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and work on putting the switch in. So, um, and I gotta do something with the wire now. It's a little bit, a little bit different. I might even just maybe drill a hole right in here or something and have the wire come out the backside. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead up this. That worked. So we'll come back. Alrighty, fans of Farm Life, we're going to call this a wrap on installing the 12-volt uh, lights. We've got the fuse box all hooked up, and we've got our lights hooked up. So we're going to call this a wrap on the fuse box and 12-volt lights in the shed. Farm Life, out.